What's up everybody, it's Grant, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the 180 vertical flow. Baby, hit it. What's up everybody, it's Grant. So as I said, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the 180 vertical float. Uh, now this is actually like a pretty tricky move, uh, so it's going to be hard to get used to at first. It actually combines a move that I've showed in the past called the figure eight, uh, which is like a basic transition uh, slash spin. So if you guys haven't seen that, that's going to come up at the top of the screen. You guys can go watch that first and watch this. So basically how we're going to start is we're going to start with the bow behind our back and our palms facing away from us. So if I turn facing this way, you can see both of my palms are facing away from my body. And I'm holding the bow basically at the ends of the grip of uh, my bow. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to bring the bow out in front of us. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do a figure eight. So we're going to start on this side, which is the left side. We're going to go up, down, up, down. And then once we get to this spot, we're going to bring the bow all the way behind our back till it's on this side. Now what we're going to do from here is we're actually going to throw the bow in the air. And it's going to spin that 180 degrees cross to the other side of our body. And we're going to catch it with our left hand behind our back. Now, if you try to just simply throw this really quick, it's probably gonna come up and hit you with the other side of the bow. So the word float and the name of the move obviously comes from trying to make the bow uh, go out and float in the air and then catch it on the other side. So you're not throwing it like as hard as you can. Like I said, it's gonna hit you or it's not gonna look the best. You kinda wanna just let it float and then catch it on the other side just so you have that time for the bow to move over and you can catch it on this side. So again, explaining it one more time, we've got the bow behind our back palms facing away from us, and then our hands are just on about the outsides of the grip. We're going to bring the ball out in front of us, start our figure eight, left, right, and keep the spin going until it's about here, then bring it all the way behind our back, and now again we're just doing a light toss, letting it float up in the air, spin that 180 degrees as it crosses to the other side of our body and catching it with the left hand behind the back. So it's in my right hand now, behind my back on the side, and I'm catching it with my left. So it's just a light toss and catch. And I kind of like to be really loose when I do this move because obviously if you're trying to just make the bow float, you don't really want to be tight because it's going to be really hard to do this move. And that's also not necessarily like another trick, but it's another tip that really helps when you're trying to do tricks uh, is if you really be loose with your body. Same thing with transitions, you know, figure eights, any kind of spins. If you're loose with your arms and your whole body, it'll make it a lot easier to do the move. So again, this is a tricky move, so it'll probably take a little while to get used to it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you guys for watching. Everybody like